shortage of fine restaurants either. But anyone here will tell you that restaurant menus are very different to what people eat at home. But this trend may be set to change. Lena Ranch is one of the best restaurants in the old city, but instead of serving the usual restaurant fare, it's dedicated to bringing the best of Syria's traditional home-cooked recipes to the restaurant table. I'm dining with head chef Ahmed, who has ordered a selection of the country's most loved dishes. Round one, cold mezza. What's that? It's a kika mezza in Syria. It's more than 260 plate. How does anyone have a main course in this place if you've got 260 plates? No, you have it less because... Okay. Just checking. i got to try something. This looks like cheese. Yes. We put it together with uh, thyme mm -hmm. from the mountain and special spices. Let's take like 45 days to prepare it. Well, it's going to take me one second to eat it. <laughs> it reminds me of a very subtle blue cheese. Yes. What's that? The beetroot. I've never seen a beetroot served like that in the Middle East before. It's from Damascus. Maybe it's 2,000 or 3,000 years. They make it like that. We boil it. Then we grate it. Then we mix it with uh, tahina and some uh, yogurt. Simple, that's it? That's it. You would never imagine something so delicious. The idea of actually imparting tahina, sesame paste, with beets. Okay, what about that? That looks raw. Yes, raw. Raw meat. Lamb. And there's no fat in there? No fat. No fat. No it's fat. just 100% meat. Yes. I will make fresh cumin, uh -huh. chili, okay. some mint, uh -huh. dry just a little, and mix spices. Is that this a lump of southern spice? What is that? Something like that. I like the nuts, some onion, okay. pepper. It's like a tartare. And now you can test it, please. What do you think? You know, I'm not really hot on the whole lamb tartare thing, but that is really good. Now for the hot appetizers. Ahmed tells me that by trying one hot mess in Syria, it has to be their version of a ground meat dish popular throughout the Middle East called kippah. What he forgets to mention is that there are many different kinds of kippah, and he's ordered most of them. Kippah in Syria are like a uh, hamburger in USA. That's what? That's a grilled kippah. And what about the one right next to it? Kippah hamis. Look at that. Mince I'm meat. using my fingers, I'm sorry. That is like ground meat and this and the exterior shell that looks like, kind of like the eggshell. It's burger wheat or something. Burger with little meat? With meat, yes. So hold it together. We keep it like a juicy with the nuts. And also so we have the weight stuff is staring at me. Like that guy can eat more. Yeah. Bring on the main courses, and in Syria, they can range from meat kebabs to hearty stews cooked with anything from stuffed vine leaves to yogurt to lamb intestines. We stuff it with rice and meat and nuts, spices. That is so tender. It's almost like eating a sausage. This is absolutely fantastic. You're amazing. You are more than welcome, but uh, there is more dishes, and there is dessert also. Is there a vomitorium? Yes. No. No.